What's up YouTube peoples? We just got back from a local boutique called Bows and Arrows in which I got really lucky and I got a call from them because I wanted to install a raffle. So I was able to pick up my Royals finally and it's in my size at five and a half boys. And I'm very happy to get these because I've always wanted this and was never able to get it. Either um, it was always sold out or resellers wanted to charge an arm and a leg for it. So I'm super happy I finally got these. So let's take a look. This is the bag that it came in, it's really nice. Ta-da! Bows and arrows. And my royals. Yay. And one cool thing is it came with a sticker, but I'll show you guys that later. So fresh out the box. Let's put it down and take a closer look, guys. This is the box that it came in with the Nike sign and swoosh on it and I got a size five and a half boys because they do fit true to size. And I was able to pay 120 for it, yay retail. And this is what it came with. So I got a free sticker and just regular tissue paper and the actual shoe. Um, Great school sizes do not come with extra laces, that's only for the men's size. They kept the original Nike branding on a nylon tongue with the original black laces and a tumbled leather on a toe box. And for the sides, the swoosh is slightly tumbled. I kept the royal blue here as well, but it's not tumbled. You can see between them. So on the back, they kept it pretty clean and simple. No branding, no logos. It just sits on top of the white midsole and the royal blue outsole. And one thing that's really cool about this release, the 2017 release, is the insoles. So they're white with the blue logo on it. So now I want to compare the um, leather on the breads and on the band ones just to give you guys a better idea of the quality of these shoes. The leather on the 2013 breads is kind of hard. See when I push it down it doesn't push back up, it's kind of stiff. But for the 2017 release for the Royals, you can see that it's much softer and it does bounce back. So hopefully that'll prevent creasing. So for the band, the quality on it is the best out of these three because it's the most tumbled and the leather is the thickest. So for the breads and for the Royals, they have minimal padding on it but for the bands it has the most padding on it out of the three it's the thickest one that's supporting the ankle for the sides the breads 2013 and royals have the same leather style that's kind of thin compared to the side of the bands which is the most tumbled and the thickest and it feels like cow leather compared to the other two. Now it's time to put these royals on and get them dirty for some on feet. So they were really comfy on feet and they were really light. Those are the main reasons why I love the ones a lot. And I'm gonna still be rocking these until I'm 60. 
or 70. We'll see. But I hope you guys were able to get your pair. I know it was a frustrating release this morning. It sold out on Nike in like six minutes and resale is crazy. Not really for my size because they're about 200 for men's size. They're like 800, which is a lot. So I hope you guys like this video and on feet. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.